If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Hey, Larry here. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Today's going to be Paper Day Review. Okay, and this is Moleskin. Now, uh, what I found out from uh, one of the guys on a Zoom pin hangout uh, a few weeks ago that he was checking out the new, well, the Moleskin, the larger uh, book about it was uh, working well with fountain pens. So, that's cool. You know, moleskin, I've always liked moleskin. Uh, my only problem with, with it was that my fountain pens would bleed through the paper. So I, I wouldn't use that the back of the paper. I'd just go on to the next page. I'm okay with that. Some people aren't. Some are. So uh, moleskin has some nice journals, nice sizes, a variety of sizes as well as colors. And... Uh, this does not give the uh, paper weight. It does say you get uh, a set of three rule journal journals, 64 line pages, and the last 16 sheets are detachable. So it's three by five, as it's free paper, and at the stitch binding and inner pockets and it has the history of moleskin inside okay so and I've been a looking and looking for the uh, the weight of the paper and I have yet to find it if I do I will do an update so let's open it up and let's give it a test shot I'm dying to see how this works out Mm -hmm. All righty. Here we go. All right, almost there. There we go. And we'll take one out. Still looking just in case there might be a paperweight on here. No. But it does say designed by Moleskin in Italy. Manufactured in Vietnam. Okay. And we'll take one out. Let's look at the back of this for a minute. Interesting. They give you a like a ruler for size on I guess for, for notebooks, Mr. Announcer. What do you? Uh, could be, yeah. And first time I've seen this since I've used moleskins, so to me this is new. Interesting. They'll give you the size of the. Uh, paper I guess interesting it comes in centimeters and inches so all right here we go nice blue cardstock and the back the little opening there you can put your note papers whatever you want to put in there nice color cardstock I like that ah and here inside is the information about Moleskin. Quality control. Okay. And these are pretty standard. Comes in different languages. And I'm looking for the paperweight if it's uh, pin friendly or not. 
and uh, da, 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 da. and still reading. Mm hmm. And I don't see it anywhere. All right, so we'll just bypass that then, and let's go into the real deal here. Okay, let's start out with Jim Hines, the Beacon 2. It has an extra fine 14K gold nib. We're going to start off with that one. Okay, this is Mont Blanc ink. And that's that new Beatles psychedelic purple that Mont Blanc came out with. So we'll do that one. Now here we go with another F P. R 14K Flex and we're just seeing how this paper holds up to the ink and let's try the Lombiol Star and this one here is a 14K medium nib. Fourteen K medium nib. And let's just go ahead and try the Sailor Pro Gear. With a 14K hard medium nib. And let's see. Let's go ahead. So many pins to choose from, right? These just, there are a few that I have on hand. And let's go ahead and do the Vintage part of 51. Love this pen. Love this pen to death. Super nice vintage pen. Really sweet. And one more. And this is the Parker Vacuumatic. And I guess that should really do it. Well, let's see how it goes on the back. Here we go. One, two, three. Well, it didn't work with this one. You can see a lot of bleed through. Uh, so, does that make this a, a bad notebook? No, not in my not in my opinion. I mean, like I said, wait for taking notes or doing whatever one needs to do you just uh, either decide to use the back page or not um, I used to use the moleskin for my travel notebook a lot and sometimes I'd find myself writing on the back of the page regardless of the lead throughs and then go on to my next page and then I find myself reversing that just go on to the next page and of course I got comments uh, that's a waste of paper and that paper's no good waste of money 
Uh, so, everybody's entitled to their own comments. So, I thought I'd review this. I hope this is helpful. And uh, leave me your thoughts below. Appreciate you hanging out with me today. Until my next review, my friends, stay safe. A lot of peace. A lot of love. God bless each and every one of you. And please, don't touch and drive. See ya.